Hi all, my name is Yelena Yusupova. I'm the head of marketing at Dim Labs and Supreme. Today I'm going to inform you about key development events and more. In this issue, find out how web development is going. We will find out also what the Supreme dashboard team has been up to. We will get acquainted with the three main pieces of news on the Calvapen project. And let's take a look at the marketing side of things. Maybe there is something interesting there. Perhaps you already know. So be sure to watch the episode to the end. Let's start with web development. The guys are actively deploying the new Explorer side backend, which displays all the activity on our networks. We have now fixed all the issues that were flagged up and we are conducting thorough tests. Please keep in mind that the decision to completely redesign the backend was made to significantly improve the speed and stability of Explorer. In addition, the balance display on the migration site was corrected, and the statistics on the cell staking site were corrected also. You can find links to all the sites in the description of this video. Let's move on to the cell frame dashboard news. In general, work is continuing on the DEX step. What is important to know? Some restrictions have been added and now you cannot send tokens to yourself via the dashboard. Transaction history now displays the time they were completed. We reworked the form code when creating orders and fixed dashboard crashes when sending transactions. CalVPN project news. Firstly, the key payment form has been updated on the CalVPN website. Secondly, we fixed the problem of connecting to paid orders in collaboration mode. Let me remind you that the co-working mode allows service users to choose internet traffic providers and providers, in turn, receive a commission for their services. By the way, you can already launch a masternode on the CalVPN network. The technical requirements and sequence of actions are the same as in the self-frame network. Yes, for now only the role of network validator is available for masternodes, but in any case it will bring you Cal tokens and gives you the opportunity to participate in the issue. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that launching a masternode is a prerequisite in order to become a provider of our VPN service. And finally, the application has now scales well on screens with high resolution. The next step is the two-way operating mode of the bridge. I will definitely show you the preparation roadmap later, but now I suggest you take a look at the statistics on the commits in GitLab. Pretty good, I reckon. Now to the details. The project team is busy with synchronization mechanisms to minimize the number of errors when interacting with other networks. The ability for a node to listen to several addresses has already been implemented. This functionality will allow us to support multiple sockets within one server rather than creating multiple server instances with a repeating set of callbacks. We have eliminated all the problems in the functionality of key delegation by stakers and now everything works correctly. To speed up the search for transactions using filters, the project team completely redesigned the logic for searching transactions in the ledger. We have also partially resolved the issue with root nodes freezing in the backbone network and promptly eliminated the fork. Now that all the technical work has been completed, the network is operating as it was previously. We are working to eliminate the occurrence of forks themselves and minimize their consequences in the future. Therefore, we are now creating a mechanism that automates the selection of the only correct blockchain. As for the roadmap, Let's look at our preparation in more detail. As usual, the entire process is divided into subtasks. On the left is what we are doing at the moment, and on the right is what has been done over the past week. The team's pace is quite fast, especially if you consider how many complex and interconnected problems the guys solve every day. By the way, if you want to study the development news in text form, we usually publish the details in our posts on social networks as well. Now Dmitry Gerasimov answers challenging questions in his new AMA sessions once a month. We dedicated it to answering questions, so now you can ask the clarification on any unclear points in the comment section, and then Dmitry will address them in the next AMA. And now on to marketing. Despite the fact that at the beginning of January we had a break for the New Year holidays. We quickly returned to our usual activity on our social networks and then even stepped it up a few notches. 
In comparison with December, the total increase was more than 23%. It should also be noted that there has been a significant increase in the number of subscribers in our English language Telegram channel. In the near future, we will publish a schedule of partner armor sessions, so you can also plan your time accordingly so as not to miss our broadcasts. Now our marketing has gone up a couple of gears, so you'll see a lot of exciting things from the team. So have I told you everything? Uh, it seems that there is one piece of news left that you probably already know about. Our sell token is now on the MEXC exchange. Some indicative statistics on trading on the stock exchange. In short, we got off to a great start and now the results are very encouraging. For more details, see our social networks. And a link to the exchange can be found in the description of this issue. Well, next time I'll tell you about new developments and more. Bye everyone!